Guys, I figured it out. I figured out my individual gift that was given to me by the world. This gift is explained in the movie. I think it's called The Gift. It's on Gaia. It's about our individual things, our gifts, how we are meant to affect the world. Uh, sure, we have a lot of skills, and those skills can combine to make multiple different gifts. But there's one that's like the root of it all. And after some meditation while listening to this movie, or during some meditation, no, after, yeah. After some meditation while listening to this movie, I realized that my gift is speaking. I often find myself not in the presence of conversation. So I've realized that I just need to be here speaking with you all on camera. And I think that's pretty simple. Now, one thing I don't like doing is editing videos. So I'm not going to edit videos. I'm just going to post these on YouTube. And that's it. I'm just going to post it on YouTube. By doing so, I'll learn to speak from my heart. I'll be learning. I'll be experiencing. I'll be aligning with my true nature. And sure, there will be times where I can just think to myself. But... I'll know that conversation will not be limited by the amount of people I have around me, but that conversation can happen at all times. This is an idea that's kind of held me back for a while. When I start thinking, oh, woe is me, I'm so lonely. I, uh, I start to feel that way. And that is a thought that I manifest into something greater, into feelings within. So sure, I might be alone right now, but I'm talking. I am warming up my voice. I am presenting ideas aloud so that I can have something to talk about if somebody wants to talk about stuff. And by speaking these things out loud, I can have a better idea of my thoughts. It's as if hearing, you know that feeling when you say something out loud and you're like, oh, that sounded better in my head. These things can sound pretty damn good in my head, but it's nice to have a, a perspective outside of myself. It's like, imagine this were just a wall right here, this mirror, and I say something to the wall. It's like my vibrations of my words just bounce back to me and I can be put in that perspective of me facing myself. Now, that's a great example now because I'm literally in a mirror. So I do catch myself making eye contact with myself and speaking into my eyes. Now, that's an interesting topic right there. Eye contact. Yoinks. I hate this stubble. I don't want it there. But I learned to fear shaving my face with an actual razor. It scares me sometimes, but it does make me super duper smooth. Do I do it or should I have already done it? No, it can be short, I think. And I need something to trim my damn nose hairs. Ugh! Got one. 
Here we go. Oh, come on, baby. Get out of there. Oh, shit. It makes my mouth water when I start to do nerve wracking stuff like this. But I'll just grab the tweezers here. I got the pointers. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's just flick the nose up like this and just grab anything coming out. There you are, you sneaky little fella. Oh, that one's in there deep. I didn't get it. Okay, that one actually felt kind of good. It's like I relieved some space in there. And you know what? Let's do the eyebrows while we're at it, bro. Now, I love picking my nose. I'll be straight up with you all. It's so efficient. Clean up, super easy. Just wipe it on something. Isn't that nice? Now, I mean, all of you were like, oh, that's gross. Hey. But I say, I see what you do in the shadows. I know what you want to do. And we all know what's easier. Oh, yeah. Oh, those fucking tiny ones in the front. Oh. That's a pain in the nose right there. Woo. I'm crying, mate. Whoa, my eyelashes are getting crazy long. What's going on? Oh my God. My eyelashes are getting crazy long. Okay, now we're doing the eyebrows. I'm pretty, I'm a natural at the eyebrows. Kind of. Uh-huh. Natural eyebrows? That's funny. <laughs> Not necessarily. I guess humor is relative. But you see, I just get to talk and do my own thing. And honestly, like, if we're not doing our own thing, then what are we doing? I am in alignment with what I like to do, which is conversation, which is talking. And I'm also doing things that I wanted to get done anyways. So... What is my life going to look like from this point on after discovering my gift and trying to utilize it? Am I going to keep a camera on me at all times? I don't think so. Will I be more open to talking? Maybe. Actually, that's a certain yes. I will be more open to talking. Uh, magicians in ancient Egypt would shave themselves hairless before going into uh, magic rituals. Uh, why? I don't know. Did they do the eyebrows? I don't know. But I tried growing out a mustache just to try it, you know, see if I needed that little change in my life. And looking at that now, it's like, no, mustache really is not for me. Facial hair is not for me. I like being cleanly shaven. I honestly want to permanently get rid of facial hair on my face. But that sounds pricey, doesn't it? I don't know how much it is. But it also sounds not natural, which I mean, I know shaving my face isn't natural, but I wonder what the models do. I wonder if there is a permanent way to get rid of facial hair. Because boy, I'd send all of this stuff away. 
off to the shadow realm. <laughs> yeah, baby face. I'm bleeding a little bit on the eyebrow area. Oh, and I need something to eat too. But if you're still sticking around, why? I'm kidding. I want you to stick around. And you know what? You're here in spirit. Because while there's no one physically around other than them, you're here too. I know you're here, actually. What are you doing here? Didn't expect this, huh? It's like I'm breaking through the fourth wall. There you are. Man, I had, in my old apartment, or one of my past apartments, I had a little flip out mirror right here that would just like, and I could like look here, or I could look here, and it was confusing. It was a little prism of looking, but I think mirrors are, um, I don't know, kind of cursy. It's like they just make you worry about all this small stuff that's not necessarily significant to the big picture, you know? Speaking of big picture, I think it's about time to move. So look here, we got a tripod. See that tripod right there? And I'm just going to use it to travel around and talk to you all. Um, always get that hair out of the sink now, otherwise it's gonna be real hard to deal with later, or at least harder than it was. Um, honestly, there's a moment in my body where it's like, okay, you don't need to talk anymore. You've kind of already shared the message you were trying to share. I'm just helping you all no, I'm not helping you all. I'm helping myself recognize new beginnings. 1212 on the timer. Swag money. That's my birthday. It's coming up. Whoa. And I can take this sketchy shit now. I don't like looking like George Washington. I like looking like Tarzan. But yeah, this is new beginnings. This is new territory. New ground being stepped upon. I don't know where it's going to take me, but I assure you, we are going to go there together. Swiggity swag, swiggity swag. I might go outside and just lay in the sun. Oh, yeah, that sounds so good. Alrighty, peace out, Farmer Nation.